Ugh. All right, seat belts. Okay, great, let's go. Oh, hey, I got a text. Lena, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just texting my dad back. He texted me. You shouldn't be texting and driving. Why not? Texting and driving increases your chances of getting in a collision by 30%. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, over 95% of people view distracted driving as a problem, yet most do it anyways. Texting and driving has caused more than five times more accidents than drunk driving. It's also scary that more than one-third of drivers call distracted driving a habit. Hey, guys, let's take a picture. 52% of drivers take videos and take picture tipping. Well, I didn't know that. Wow. Do you guys have any alternatives? Yeah, of course. First of all, you can text hashtag X to all your friends and family before you start driving. That way you could pause your conversation and get back to it when you're done. Hey, that's actually a really good idea. Nice. Uh, you could also throw it out the window. No! <laughs> Get that far. Throwing my phone out the car may not be the best alternative, but here's some actually really good ones. When driving, put your phone behind you so that it's out of reach and hidden so that you don't have to worry about wanting to grab it or check a text. Have a designated texter who can text for you. Make sure that they won't judge any of your texts or phone calls. Or you could plain text hashtag X to your friends and family before driving so that it can automatically stop a conversation and they know that you're driving. Thank you for listening to our presentation about texting and driving. Now, is that simple text worth risking your life?